Hey there, everybody. Let's spend a few minutes talking about acceptance and commitment therapy as it's used with eating issues. Acceptance and commitment therapy, or ACT, is often used with eating issues. And ACT is built on a very important premise, namely that people's thoughts about events are at the root of a lot of their emotional distress especially their desire to avoid certain unpleasant thoughts, right? This is critical to their distress. Their wish to avoid certain unpleasant thoughts really contributes to their distress and unhappiness. According to the ACT approach, people experience what the ACT therapists call cognitive fusion with their thoughts, which is basically when people mistake their thoughts for absolute truths, and, and they fuse with these thoughts in ways that cause them emotional pain and which interfere with their ability to entertain alternative interpretations of things. And because these fused thoughts are upsetting, people understandably try to avoid them. But that's not necessarily very helpful. Clients diagnosed with eating disorders avoid upsetting thoughts in a very particular way, namely by shifting their attention away from these thoughts and instead placing their focus on controlling their eating and weight. Right? They disproportionately spend time focusing on that as a way to avoid these unpleasant thoughts. So rather than trying to alleviate eating problems um, by directly challenging negative thoughts or by asking clients to simply change them, an ACT therapist asks clients to pay attention to and keep track of their thoughts. And when clients accept these thoughts, even the, the unpleasant ones they have, often about body image and weight and, and how they feel about themselves, and when they accept these thoughts and remember that they're just thoughts, not absolute truths, then clients often find that they're surprised because their thoughts lose a lot of their power. The idea is that moment-to-moment -moment awareness of thoughts lets people be less influenced by them and instead live in a manner that's more consistent with their values. Now there are many different creative techniques that are used by ACT therapists to help their clients observe in a in a detached manner the thoughts that they typically try to avoid. One example would be something called the thought parade exercise. And in the thought parade exercise, clients are asked to calmly imagine a parade in which people carry signs that have their negative thoughts written on them. And what they find is that when clients engage in the thought parade exercise, they're able to observe their thoughts and accept their thoughts, and as such, the thoughts really don't bother them as much, or at least that's what they often are surprised to find out. Research on ACT has generally um, provided support for it, although there is a need for more research specifically on using ACT with clients who are diagnosed with eating disorders. So that's a little bit about acceptance and commitment therapy, or ACT. I hope this discussion has potentially allowed you to act in a way that's more consistent with accepting the thoughts that you have that you don't like.